Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Cares in the care of God. That is my topic today. Cares in the care of God. Or in simple terms, do not worry. And I'm reading from the book of Genesis, chapter number 15, and I will start from chapter uh, verse 1. After all these things, the word of God came to Abraham in a vision. Oh yes, that's a good start. Abraham received a word from God, and you know, the word of God gives us the direction. When you're going through a situation, it's always good to receive a word from God. Abraham received a word from the Lord in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I'm your shield. Your reward will be glad. He was told that I am your shield. That means I'm your protection. And I'm here to remind you of a very basic thing, that God is our shield. God is our protection. Sometimes we feel like we are endangered. But it's always good to remember that God is our shield. Shield against diseases. Shield against any harm. Shield against anything that we may encounter in this life. God is your shield. The Bible continues, Abraham said, God, Master, what use are your gifts as long as I'm childless? And Eliezer of Damascus is going to inherit everything. Oh, Abraham uh, had a conversation with God and he was telling God, what are your gifts if I'm still without a child? Sometimes as human beings, we tend to overlook what God has done in our lives and we focus so much on what he has not done. So I want to remind you it's always good to look at what God has done to you. You may have no money, but you have good health. You may have nothing, but you have friends, you have family. That is more than anything. So this man of God, Abraham, was looking at what God had not given him. And allow me to tell you, it is always good to count our blessings. And we are going to be amazed how blessed we are. Do not worry. If we read verse 4 there, then God's message came, do not worry. He won't be your heir. You know, he, he thought, now that he didn't have a child, he thought somebody else would come to inherit him. But God assured him. It's always good to have God's assurance. And I'm here to assure you, the worst that you are fearing will not befall you because God is your shield. Abraham feared so much. He was worrying because he didn't have a son and he thought that his wealth would be inherited by somebody else. But God gave him the assurance that you will not be inherited by somebody else, but your, a son from your body will be your heir. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he took him outside and said, Look at the sky. Count the stars. Can you do it? Count your descendants. You are going to have a big family. Now, you know, he could only have received this message by faith because he was so much advanced in age. But God assured him. Just as you are not able to count the stars of the sky, in the same way, nobody will be able to count your descendants. My friends, why do we worry so much? Because God is with us. And if God is with us, who can be against us? What is worrying you today? Are you there worrying about something? Can you turn your fear and your worries into faith? Can you turn your anxieties to prayers? Can you turn your, your discomfort to trust in God for to do the impossible? Praise the name of the Lord. Worrying will not add anything. Actually, the Bible says, by worrying, nobody can add any amount of his hair. By worrying, nobody can add a single hour to his life. Worrying only makes things worse. Encourage yourself in the Lord and don't fear. If you read the Bible in the book of uh, Matthew chapter number 6, the Bible says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you drink, or about your body. What you will wear is life not more than food, 
and the body more than clothes. Oh, the Bible tells us not to worry because um, life is more worth than the food we eat or the what we drink. Life is, your body is more precious than clothes. Yeah, there is analogy here used that look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they are? Oh God, what a question there. That the, the birds of the air don't plant. They don't sow nothing. They don't reap nothing. They don't store in burns. But God, our heavenly father, feeds them. And the Bible says here, pause and ask us a question. Are you not much more valuable than the birds of the air? Of course we are. We are more valuable to God than the, the birds of the air. We are more valuable to God than anything else. So that means can you, can you uh, God is going to take care of us. Can anyone of you by worrying and a single hour to your life by worrying you're not going to make anything better actually worrying reduce your capacity to deal with your situations to deal with your challenges worrying will only make things worse may god give us that heart of not worrying about issues but every time we face challenges in this life may god help us always to turn to him for guidance, always to turn to him for, for, for instruction because he's always there. The Bible continues there in Matthew 6 verse 28. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire. Will he not more, much more, clothe you, or you of little faith? Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, if he, he makes the flowers or the wild flowers beautiful, and if they are there today, tomorrow they, they wither and they are gone, how much more will our God be willing to clothe us? So let us try, uh, you know, trust God, knowing that we are more than anything else to God. God, we mean a lot to God. If I end up by some, uh, the same thing, the same uh, Matthew 6 verse 34, the Bible says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble for its own. I read a book a uh, long time ago, and uh, uh, it's called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. And this, this book, my takeaway from that book, there was a certain chapter that was talking about living in a day, one day compartment. One day compartment. Don't take the worries of yesterday and bring them into today. Don't take the, the, the worries of tomorrow, the future of tomorrow and bring them into today. It's like you are living three days in one day. It is not possible. One day at a time. The same God who's, who is going to see you through today, he will be faithful tomorrow as he was faithful yesterday. Don't worry yourself to death. Don't worry yourself to, to blood pressure. Don't worry yourself to anxiety. Don't worry yourself to despair. But trust in God. My message was, do not worry. God got you. He got your back. And he will make everything beautiful in his own time. Don't worry. Be like the birds of the air. As long as you are alive, there is hope. There is hope for every human being. Every time you, you place your hand next to your left side of your chest and there is that dumping of your heart, know that there is hope for tomorrow. And we can face tomorrow just because he leaves. God bless you as you live a worry-free day. God bless you.